Hello and welcome back to another Infinite Flight tutorial. In this video we'll be talking about flight planning and I'll show you all the cool features and tools you need to explore the world on Infinite Flight. Let's begin. I've spawned at San Diego International or Kilo Sierra Alpha November and will be following a flight plan from San Diego to Los Angeles. So you can follow along, I've chosen to use the Seaward 2 departure, a standard instrument departure for San Diego. Always begin by checking out your destination airport first. Using the search bar in the top right, I will type in Kilo Lima Alpha X-Ray, which centers Los Angeles on the map. First, I check traffic in and out of the airport. Next, you can tap the airport icon to pull up key information like runways, weather, and general airport information. To determine how far the airport is with a direct path from San Diego, we can select the airport icon followed by the direct icon. The distance is now displayed on the bottom information panel, as well as your flight plan summary which is available by toggling the globe icon in the bottom left. To begin following our flight plan, we'll select clear on the plan summary and accept the action so we can create a custom flight plan. A neat trick you can use to quickly plot points in your flight plan is to simply type the airport, fixes, and navigational aids into the search bar with a space between each. Beginning with the airport and following our departure procedure, I will type Kilo Sierra Alpha November space Windfield space Gwyn, select OK, and it'll automatically plot all three of those fixes. Another way to add fixes is to simply pan on the map, select a fix, and tap the plus symbol to add it to your flight plan. Using this method, we've added Padres and Seaward. To search for individual fixes, you can utilize your search bar, and this will take you directly to the fix, which you can add to your flight plan by selecting the plus symbol. As I finish plotting the published departure procedure, I will now pan and plot points, which set me up for a left base to runway 25 right at LAX. It's best to make your final points for the approach into the runway, if available, followed by the destination airport, which is Kilo Lima Alpha X-Ray. If you'd like to adjust any fixes after completing your flight plan, you can remove them with the minus symbol on your summary page or simply add new fixes and move them with the up down arrow to move its position in the flight plan. My last fix is of course LAX which completes my flight plan. As I review my flight plan, specific legs of the route can be activated by selecting activate leg. You will be shown heading, distance and other information for whichever leg is depicted with a magenta line indicating that it's the active leg. The last feature I want to show you is the copy flight plan feature, which automatically copies another pilot's flight plan. Zoom in on the aircraft you wish to view, tap the aircraft icon, and select copy flight plan. When tapping on their icon, you can see loads of information like call sign, aircraft, flight plan, distance, and more. If we zoom out, we can see that Flightcast flight plan has been copied, and we're now going to Vancouver. Now that you know how to build a flight plan like a pro, get out and see the world. Thanks for tuning in and be sure you subscribe to the channel for more helpful tutorials. You can also find us on social media at Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. We'll see you in the next one.